Greetings, all. It's Max, and we're back, and we're doing a movie review on Have Faith, H-A-V Faith, Hamilton A. Vaughn. That's where Have Faith comes from, because apparently somebody else must have actually used that title, so they had to change it a little bit. This came out in 2016. Um, it's a two-hour movie, and it has a 5.6 on IMDb. What is this movie? This movie is... 30 movies packed into one. The main over enveloping plot is uh, Hamilton Vaughn is a guy who runs a, not a club or something like that and gets robbed and shot and becomes a pastor. We don't know how that happens. We just know that, that that's what happens. And he becomes such a prestigious, you know, sort of a secondary pastor that he could be taken over for a um, main pastor and it's the main pastor's church and the pastor's son is upset because he's not getting the job the pastor is giving it to the guy who is most capable of of doing the job that is the overall plot that is probably about 10 minutes of the movie okay from five minutes in to the end five minutes. The whole rest of the movie is plot point over here, plot point over there, and we got a plot point over here. Uh, we got orphan kids, and of course couples that, that can't have kids, and dying grandmothers. Why they had to pack all this into this movie, I don't know. Was it a bad movie? No. No. The acting all around was good, considering they didn't have a budget. $200,000. I mean, you're going to get what you pay for. It's kind of like me running around with a handy cam, trying to shoot people. Right? Um, actually, I thought it was shot pretty well for what they had, and um, I thought it was overall good. And I didn't mind that it ran off over here and then we're going to go over here and then we're going to do a plot point here and runs off into all these different places for these different plot points i did not mind that because they set it up okay they set it up and then they made it pay off okay there is a scene in there and i can't i'm not going to spoil anything with this movie because it's worth watching there's there's a scene in there that just makes no sense um where they set up um, the Hamilton Vaughn's character to be like a like a rapist or something like this. That just, none of that makes any sense. If you cut that out, that entire sequence out of the movie, it would be better for it. But other plot points are set up. I mean, meticulously set up throughout the movie. Meticulously set up to where it's like when you run over here to a plot point, it's like, oh, I remember that. And you run over here to a plot point, and it's like, oh, I remember that. I'm just like, why did you do that? I thought we were talking about uh, church stuff. But the big main overarching thing, and it's, you know, it's not really a spoiler, because every one of these movies like this has the same trope. The church is half a million dollars in debt. But the problem is, is the main plot revolves around people trying to get control of the church. Why would I want something that's a half a million dollars in debt? I don't want to be in charge of that. I don't want anything to do with it. I'll go off and go do my own thing. So that doesn't make any sense. Overall, was this a good movie? Eh, 5.6. I'm going to give it a 6.5. And that's what I'm going to stick with. It is a long movie. And, you know, I wasn't bored and I didn't fall asleep. And that's, you know, it's probably because they had so many different plot lines. And they all paid off. I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. My problem was the main plot and the main character and their motivations. And the son of the main pastor guy who's retiring, their motivations... I didn't understand. I didn't understand. It doesn't make any sense. 
I don't want to take over something that's half a million dollars in the hole. I'm not, I don't want my name on that. But, you know, that's what you got. So, HAV Faith 2016. 6.5 on Pure Flex. And the next one's going to be real fun. 